Okay, so this is uh, this is our seventh video here in the series. So guys, again, if you haven't subscribed, please, please subscribe to my channel. I put a lot of effort and work into making your life easier. Also, comments, suggestions, uh, like the video, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Okay, so in our last episode, we discussed that we want to make our height flexible here. And it didn't have a flexible height before because main content had a fixed height. So I solved that problem by double clicking main content and giving main content a height of nothing, not zero. Do not confuse nothing with zero. Nothing is default. It's going to default to the height of nothing. But if you put zero in here, you're going to be in a world of trouble. Okay. Now, let's think about something very intuitively. Okay. So let's say, oh, I get it. But main content now has a height of nothing. So it's going to default to the height of its content, which in this particular case are these paragraphs and these H2 and H1 tags. But I have a problem here because wrapper tag is not wrapping around the site wrapper tag starts and ends at it starts at the top and ends here because wrapper has a certain height so if you think to yourself self well what if we made wrapper a height of nothing would that solve the problem sounds like to me it would okay so i'm going to give wrapper height of nothing therefore it's going to wrap to the height of itself well is that going to work eh, it's not going to work and here's why it's not going to work. I'm going to explain to you why it's doing what it's doing. Okay. What separates the wrapper tag and the branding tag and the site nav and the main content div tag and the news bar div tag? What do those tags have that branding wrapper doesn't have? Okay. The answer is they have floats. So what's happening here, it's like holding a piece of paper right above your head. You can't see it because it's floating above your head. Well, guess what? Site nav, news bar, and main content are basically floating above the wrapper. So the wrapper can't see them. The wrapper doesn't know to wrap around them because wrapper can't see them. Very important step here, guys. Extremely important step. This is how you're going to solve the problem here. Wrapper can only wrap around what it can see. So therefore, right now, wrappers wrapping around branding, wrappers wrapping around footer because footer and branding don't have a float. Now, if you give footer or branding a float, you're really screwed because it's not going to work either. Okay. So here's what has to happen. Okay. Wrapper will wrap around what it can see. So right now. Wrapper is wrapping around footer and wrapper is wrapping around branding. Footer needs to be at the bottom. Okay, but here's a problem. Footer doesn't understand where it needs to go yet because footer, just like wrapper, footer can't see news bar, footer can't see main content, footer can't see nav because footer doesn't have a float, nor does footer need a float. But footer, if you select the footer tag, you'll see that footer is taking up this entire space here. Now, to demonstrate that further as to, as to, far was, as to, as to what's going on here, I'm going to create a rule for footer. I'm going to select the tag and come over here to the right and make a rule. This is probably one of the most important things you'll learn today is basically how to get the wrapper to wrap around the entire site that contain floats, float left and float right. So here's how we solve the problem. Now, footer, typically, footer would have a smaller font size. So we're going to make our font size 9 pixels. Okay, so take this one step at a time. Now, footer, we want to put inside of a black box with white type. If I don't change this type to white, I can't see my type because it defaults to black. We're going to change our type to white. Okay. Now, I'm going to make my content box by box footer background be black. Now, that sounds great, right? So type is going to be 9 pixels, a little bit smaller. My body copy is going to be white. That's a good thing. My background color is going to be black. So it seems like we're good to go. Okay. However, if I hit the apply option, what happens? Okay. Footer is not moving. Footer is taking up this entire space here. 
because based on these choices here, I need to go to block category. And footer needs to clear both the left float, because footer's going to be at the bottom. So visually understand something. Footer's at the bottom. Footer's inside of wrapper. Wrapper's going to wrap what doesn't have a float, because wrapper doesn't have a float. So wrapper's going to wrap around the footer, but the footer needs to do, based on these choices, the footer needs to clear the site nav, which has a left float, main content, which has a left float, news bar, which has a right float. So based on these choices, I need to clear what? I need to clear both left and right floats. So if I hit the OK button, okay, what's happened there? 